This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Netflix. Last week, you got a question about which certifications would be the best for tech employment opportunities. We turned the question over to you, the Techzilla audience, for your experiences. And this is what you said, and boy, did you have a lot to say. Oh, we'll start yeah. with Akeem, who writes in, I'm an engineer at VMware, and I can say with confidence that the IT community is abuzz with cloud projects as well as virtualizing entire IT infrastructures. The leader in virtualization, arguably the cloud space, is VMware. I would suggest starting with your VMware Certified Professional VCP certification, and then move on to more advanced certs like the VMware Certified Advanced Advanced Professional Data Center Administration, the VCAP DCA, or the VCAP DCD, the Design Certifications, Akeem. Of course, he works for VMware, so you know, it makes sense that he's a little pro VMware, but, there's but he a knows. Lot. virtualization is big. He knows what it takes. Then Tony states, the IT world is huge and branches out into many different areas. Someone wanting to get into server administration should probably look at the Microsoft MCSE certification path. As much as everyone bemoans Microsoft, Windows Server is everywhere and you will have to take care of it. I definitely recommend learning PowerShell. If networking is your preference, then look at the CCNA certifications from Cisco. They offer all the knowledge needed to support network infrastructure, from programming switches to building out advanced routing networks. Even if your eventual place of employment doesn't use Cisco hardware, the skills learned will translate to most hardware from other manufacturers. Tony in Kentucky. Jim emailed, I get so many applications for positions I have open. So I do use certifications as an elimination tool. Current certifications that are most meaningful to our service providing company are CISSP, very broad but not very deep security cert. ITIL, foundations for IT, several levels, and specialization, a must for help desk or customer based support. CCNA, Cisco broad but not very deep. Some of the SAN cert, like GWAPT, GCIH, GSNA. Some of the Microsoft certs. PMP, believe it or not, anybody with any responsibility is managing projects at some level. Obviously, for database and coding type jobs, other supply like Oracle, Red Hat, etc. Jim. Yeah, and then Mike writes, the CompTIA A plus certification is a good one to get as it shows that you're exploring the world of different certifications and it helps provide a well-rounded back-end knowledge of fundamental hardware principles. If you're looking into going into networking, CompTIA A Network Plus provides a good base and the Cisco Certified Network Associate and Cisco Certified Network Professional are in pretty high demand. Looking at being a Windows Server Administrator? Check out some of the Microsoft certifications. Microsoft Certified Technology Technology Specialist, MCTS, Microsoft Certified IT Professional, MCITP, and the Microsoft Certified Master, MCM. If security is what you're into, my personal favorite, you would ultimately want to work towards your Certified Information System Security Professional, CISSP certification, Mike in Newfoundland. Whew, that's a lot of... A lot of acronyms. <laughs> and I was actually just looking up three of them on here. I'm like, wow. And Kristoff adds, I very quickly thought of one that I've gotten myself that has gotten many doors open for me. The certificate in question is a CCE, which is a Certified Computer Examiner from the International Society of Forensic Computer Ooh. Examiners, ISFCE.com. This cert will get anyone a great leg up as there is a shortage on people who are qualified to examine computers for law enforcement or private entities. Kristoff. Yeah, it's good to look for areas where people are needed and, and maybe focus in on that so yes. you know, well, if, if, if they're low on people in that area, maybe I could be the one to get the job. And on that note, focus on stuff that people need jobs in now if you can get the certification now because sometimes when they say, hey, we'll need those jobs in five years and then suddenly the market changes or the economy changes yes. and those jobs Tech don't changes. materialize, for example. Right. Uh, you know, my wife got an MLIS degree, and then all of the librarians that were supposed to retire didn't, and all of the library the library market like shrunk. Yeah. And suddenly, where there were supposed to be massive amounts of jobs, there were none. So, and thanks to everyone, it is so great to hear from folks with firsthand experiences, and hopefully, Tim, this will help you move forward in your career. Yeah. So we've got more of your emails still to come, but first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Netflix, people, 23 million members. What does that mean, buying power? Netflix is the world's largest subscription service streaming TV shows and movies. It's amazing. If you're a member like I am, Robert is, Serafina is, Roger is, Veronica is, pretty much everybody we know. If you're a member, you get to instantly watch thousands of titles on pretty much anything you want to. Xbox 360, the PS3, the Wii, Roku, Netflix-enabled Blu-ray players, HDTVs, the Apple TV. It's amazing, because as a Netflix Unlimited member, you get to watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, for 
one low monthly price. No late fees, no due dates, no surprise bills at the end of the month. And for a limited time, as a new member, a Texas Love Viewer, we want you to try Netflix. So we've got a free 30-day trial membership for you. Go to netflix.com slash techzilla and sign up. And hey, if you're in the UK or Ireland, we got a deal for you too. Our viewers overseas can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash techzilla or netflix.ie slash techzilla. And do us a favor, use those URLs we gave you so that Netflix knows we sent you.